uh, welcome to video lecture series now we are going to see a uh, material aspects of solar collectors so we know that the solar collectors are used for collecting the sun energy into uh, heat energy which will co convert the sun energy into heat energy what kind of materials are used for collecting uh, which is used as an absorber or glazing material or insulator so we have to concentrate the material aspects okay that we are going to discuss in this uh, video so material aspects in the sense we are talking about the uh, the flat corrugated or grooved plates to which the tubes fins or passages are attached to the absorber or to the collectors the plate it is a plate the solar collector is a plate which may be integrated with the tubes sometimes like the solar water heating system there it is integrated with the tubes if that is the case what is the structure of the solar collectors in the sense solar any solar collector should have three parts one is absorber another one is a glazer glazing uh, glazer and third one is a insulator this three parts is a major parts of the any solar collectors absorber is used to absorb the sun so solar energy glazer is nothing but used to multiply or increase the temperature glazer is nothing but a mirror or it may be a glass material or it may be a plastic material in order to increase the heat doubles the heat volume of heat will be increased and insulator is nothing but it is the bottom of the any flat collector which will avoid to dissipate the heat outside the environment whatever the heat absorbed that can be stored there itself should not be liberated or it may not be dissipated so heat has to be stored to avoid the loss of heat there is insulation is used first one is the absorber so absorber in the sense the absorber solar plate is uh, most frequently used what kind of uh, materials are used in the sense all copper plates with integrated uh, water passage or roll bond type can also be used as absorber so these plates are made up of with aluminium especially we have seen in the solar heating system water solar heating system aluminium is covered with the copper plate so uh, there is an evacuated tube it is uh, covered with aluminium inside that one uh, copper plates are used all copper also used copper tube or aluminium fin can be used as an absorber iron can be used or steel can be used or sometimes a plastic material also polymers also can be used see here any solar collector consists of absorber glass insulation so back sheet rice pipe pipes are used and header pipes are also used and aluminium rails also used this is aluminium rails and absorptive coating what kind of coating can be given in the sense it may be ranges from flat black paint to baked enamel baked enamel can also be used or black paint also be used the flat black absorber coatings have high absorptivity the specification required for the absorb coating of the flat plate collectors are it must not degrade under ultraviolet exposure exposure it must withstand the temperature up to 200 degrees celsius it must withstand many temperature cycles over plus or minus 40 degrees celsius it must withstand many cycles of low to high relative humidity it must not chalk fade or chip it must not be so thick the heat conduction through the paint of, to the material absorber is impeded next one is a glassing material glazing or glassing is nothing but one or more sheets of glass are 
the radiation transmitting material is used as a transparent cover that is nothing but the glazing what is the function important function of the glazing material in the sense it must reduce the convective losses from the absorber plate it must suppress the radiative heat loss from the absorber plate it must protect the absorber from the uh, element and from the excessive uv, UV ultraviolet exposures a glazing material must be resistant to the ultraviolet radiation so the glass which meets the above mentioned requirements and also compatible with the general requirements for the longevity long stay standing and uh, some of the specification requir requirements are also used for the glazing materials that is not, not uh, it is a reasonably impact on the resistant thin or no tempered glass panes are questionable because sometimes uh, the birds may sit over the uh, the glazing material in the sense that time it can be get damaged or hailstone hailstone in the sense during raining time hailstone may be fall on to the uh, particular glazing material in the sense that can be get damaged so vandalism any uh, something vandalism happens in the sense it may be get damaged so no tempered glass are used no thin materials are used it is a thin material the plastic materials are low tensile strength which is not advisable for this glazing material they must be resistant to the temperature shock sudden rain is coming with the over speed okay that may also damage the thing so we have to concentrate while designing the glazing material so the leaf on the stagnant uh, stagnant collector can also cause the high localized thermal stresses also so heat tempered glass absolutely necessary for the outer collecting glazes generally plastic glazing is used to withstand the any kind of temperature sometimes the temperature is more in the sense the glass may be get cracked if you are using glassing material instead of that you can go with the plastic glazing material it can stand the uh, uv radiations and uh, it also withstand the any kind of uh, shock observation and next one is areas of practical applications we are talking about the area of practical application of attentions in the sense high cost longevity black chrome coating absorptivity and they must be able to withstand uh, wind conditions and uh, glazing materials there should be a fiber material or uh, it is a glass material tedler used alone cannot serve for the purpose when tedler is bonded with the fiber glass it acts as a good glazing material optical rating must not change during its service life this requires hardly to meet any plastic glazing material fiber glass partially serves for the particular purpose next one is a insulation cell insulation cell is nothing but in the bottom of the collector so top of the collector is observer middle of the collector is nothing but glazing material and the top bottom of the collector is nothing but the insulation in order to avoid the heat loss so excessive heat loss can be avoided for that the solar flat plate collectors are insulated uh, on its back side on its edges also back side in the sense 3.5 inches of the fiberglass insulation or 2 inches in the foam insulation foam insulation also be done side in the sense 1 inch fiberglass uh, material side or 0.5 to 0 0.5 0 0.75 inches of the foam insulation this insulation shell will be formed and also the following specifications to meet the insulating materials it must withstand the maximum collector stagnation temperature of 200 degree celsius without damage the foam materials may shrink due to excessive heat maximum stagnation temperature must not cause evaporation sublimation of the substance in the insulating material such as binder of the fiber glasses so special kind of fiber glass materials are made available for the quite satisfactory of the outgassing rates.